What's your name? My name is Nez Papreja. Where are you from, Nez? I'm from Delhi. Delhi? All right. Okay, let's start now. All right, Nez, tell me something about uh, something interesting about Delhi. So Delhi is the national capital of India. Currently, the place where I live, Rohini, has a population of eight lakhs and sixty thousands. In Delhi, there are people from all over the nation, so there are a variety of cultures that we experience here, uh, and people of all occupations and uh, are resident here. And uh, that's all. We uh, the historical monuments and the important places that are here are Red Fort. India Gate, Jantar Mantar, and Qutub Minar. Recently, Rajpath has been turned into Kartavya Park. All right, that's interesting. All right, what is the significance of your? What's the meaning and significance of your name? Very unique. Uh, the name of Kartavya Park. Your name. My name. So my name doesn't have a meaning. Uh, my father had actually read a novel some years back, and there he had found a character named Nail. So he liked the sound of that, and hence I was named Nail. Can you tell me something more about the character? So I have asked my father to tell me the name of the novel a lot of times, but he cannot remember anything about it. So only on the basis of the sound of the name, which he liked, I was named Nail. All right. All right. Okay. Why do you want to join the armed forces? So I think I'm a very patriotic person in general. And to be honest, in the beginning, I had never thought of joining the armed forces. But then one day, a, a workshop by the Air Force was conducted in our school, and that was the time when I first considered this as a career option for me. And then I decided that I want to join this because when I heard the name, like an officer name. That I felt really proud of that, and I want to serve my country from the front line. So I want to join the armed forces. Okay, why only the Air Force? Why not the Navy or the Indian Army? So I was interested in flying and planes since the beginning only. So I want to join the Air Force. What is your strength and what is your weakness? Uh, my strengths are that I am a quick learner. If you teach me something, I can learn it very quickly. I have a creative mind. I have a good imagination. I'm a writer, and my weaknesses would be that I can get a little bit distracted at times, and I am a bit reserved with my thoughts. So, for improving that, I've taken part in debates and declamations, and to improve my focus, I try to do quizzes or like sudokus and puzzles in a short amount of time. Okay. What do you think you'll be doing uh, in the Air Force? Should you join? So I had first considered flying as an option, but uh, due to my spectacles, I am afraid I won't be getting a chance there. So I think I would be good uh, at whatever ground duties I get. Okay. Any competitive exams that you are preparing for besides? Uh, no, sir. No competitive exam. You haven't thought of any other competitive exams so far. Sir, I recently gave J joint entrance exam. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, who's your best friend? So my best friend is Sandeep. She is my neighbor. Why is she? He, he or she is a best friend. So she is my best friend because I can open up with her. I can share my thoughts with her. And she is a very trustworthy person, and she can also open up with me. So we have similar views and similar opinions about uh, almost everything. So that's why I think I'm very compatible with her. Okay. Who's your role model? So my role model is uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, who was the Missile Man of India. Why do you think he? Why do? Why does he? Why is he your role model and no one else? So I have always been interested in astronomy and observing the stars. And when I heard about how he has developed the ISRO and 
how he became the missile man of india and later on became the president of india that story really inspired me okay do you get any pocket money at all a pocket money no sir do you get pocket money no sir how do you manage your finances so my parents manage the finances of uh, tuition and all but other than that i don't really have much spending okay okay uh tell me one of you just one of your biggest strength and uh, tell me an occasion where you use it so my biggest strength is that i am a creative thinker and i have an imaginative mind and uh, i am a writer so it is good to put it to use there and i think i can be useful in the air force also because i can help to innovate new things can you tell me something more about it innovation so i can help in creating something new to find the solution of a problem and because i'm imaginative i just need to close my eyes and think on the problem and i can reach a solution in five headlines the newspaper or anything that you have read of late as so recently project cheetah had been uh, initiated by the government in which eight cheetahs are brought from namibia into the kuno national park then second headline is our defense minister rajnath singh he is going to egypt to sign an mou mem uh, memorandum of understanding to improve the defense relations between the country Uh, then the third would be that recently upsc has conducted an examination to fill the 84% vacancies of principals that we have in government schools in our country uh, the fourth would be that the israeli and the turkish prime ministers are meeting together after 14 years to develop relationships between the country and the fifth would be that uh, the transport ministry of the transport department of india is lifting 60 vehicles per day in delhi uh, and checking their expiry dates like of 15 years that is and they are disposing of the vehicles that have already reached that age okay uh recently the prime minister said that it's a time for negotiations and not for a war did you hear that yes sir okay so that be so why do we need defense forces at all so in case a country wages war we will need to defend ourselves against it and it is a time of peace but if we see what what the policies of other countries are like china string of pearls and we have hostile neighbors like pakistan also we would need the defense forces uh don't you feel that we will be able to negotiate with them since it's going to benefit both the parties and going for a war and you know having an economic destruction too so but negotiations can't always reach a common consensus and in case a country backstabs or tries to go out of the way or uh, not follow those policies or those rules then we would need the defense forces should hindi be a national language uh, no so hindi should be a national language because it is spoken about uh, by about 40% of the people but there is still 60% of our population that does not speak hindi so it cannot be our national language so almost what 60% of the population doesn't speak english as well what do you think should be a national language so we should have a national language we should just have the 22 official languages that we currently have and i think we will be able to work fine in that introducing a national language would just increase the queue okay uh if you were to be granted three wishes today what would that be what would you ask for so how many wishes three three wishes uh, my first would be that i become capable enough so that i get admission into the national defense academy the second would be uh, i would like there to like i would like to end world hunger because there are a lot of people who are dying because they are not getting enough food and that's a really big problem that we are facing nowadays 
and that third would be that education should be provided to all children all around the world with the one so uh, education should be provided to all the children all around the world and it should be a holistic educational program okay uh what would the suggestion that you would like to give your parents so i think my parents are pretty good at what they do they are the best parents in the world so i would like to give any suggestions to them what suggestion would you like to take from your parents so i would like to learn how they have managed to be so well in every field and if there are if there is anything that they would like for me to improve upon uh, i would like them to give suggestions on how i could do so okay what motivates or demotivates you so i think the want for honor for respect and a need for adventure this is something that always motivates me does the thought of doing something that i like something that i love motivates me and uh, rejections and failures can sometimes set me back but i can bounce back from that uh, and the thought of doing something that i do not like that is something that really motivates me can you give an example of something where you got demotivated and yet you were able to bounce back so uh, since class 7th i had been preparing for debates and declamations in class 8 i got my first opportunity to participate in a debate and i had worked really hard for it uh, and we were pretty sure that we could get a position but uh, we couldn't win there but that uh, i didn't let that discourage me i worked harder and later on we placed third in zone level first in district and third in state level also so the place you been a vice captain or deputy of sorts and there's only one place where you been a captain any peculiar reason that you you been mostly a vice captain so i was the netball captain of my team and i was the house vice captain uh, so i can listen to the rest of the question any peculiar reason why you were the vice captain not the captain all of all all of these places the reasons why i was yes so um, uh, my teacher had appointed me as the house vice captain because i was always good in studies and i got well with all of my classmates uh, and they think that i'm a responsible person in general so that's why i was made the house vice captain and i became the netball team captain because my team members appointed me i was the most senior person of my team i had been playing for the longest and they trusted me with that responsibility so they nominated me as the captain Why are you different? Give me a reason if I have to select you. So I am a very trustable person, in, a trustworthy person in general. Uh, like my friends can say whatever they want with me, and I would encourage them and teach them how to play better. Since I had been playing for a longer uh, amount of time, so I think that's why they nominated me. Okay. Now, uh, what's your biggest fear in life? So my biggest fear is failure and rejection. What will you if you get rejected? So I will try again the next time. Although I intend on clearing it in one on one time only, but if I for some reason get rejected here, I would try again next time. What is your opinion? of of women joining in india there i think it has always been a male bastion and how would women cope there what is the strategy here so i think women are very important uh, it's very important to include women in the nda because wars are no longer just about physical violence they have also become a place where there are mind games and intellectual games and in these areas women are equally capable as men if not more so induction of women into nda was a necessary step and i'm glad it was taken okay uh if you are given an opportunity to organize uh volleyball in a district today in delhi today 
how will you go about organizing it so firstly i would decide and book a venue for it i would decide a time and a, uh, time and the duration for it then i would ask my friends to help volunteer in the task i would hire a team i would send out invitations to schools and colleges about the details i would arrange uh, the prizes uh, and uh, i would arrange uh, i would arrange inspectors who could like inspect and check the codes beforehand and i would buy the necessary post equipment like balls and i would uh, ask the teams to prepare well to prepare six members in each team uh, that's it that's it Yes. If you if you have made the prime minister of the country for a day, what is that you would like to change? So I would like to change the education system of India because currently the education system we have is more focused on rote learning and not on the overall development of a child. Like the uh, building of skills is not present there. Like the children cannot build their skills to their full potential. which is blocking the way for new innovations and invention so i would like to change the education system can you tell me something about the book that you wrote of your author so could you please repeat can you tell me something more about the book that you authored the book that i authored yes i have written a novel called bitter sweet a thousand lies It is about two people, Rachel and Ethan, who are in love with each other. The ro- uh, the genre of the book is romance and mystery. So the book starts when the two people are on a trip in France, and uh, they have a good time there. They enjoy there. But on returning, Rachel comes to know certain truths about her family and about her friends. So it is about Rachel's journey of how she goes through various things and she develops into a bold woman that she becomes at the end. What What do you do with the royalty that you get from the book for seeds? So the we don't of- We don't get much royalty because we haven't gone into advertising yet. But the amount we got, uh, I use that to order more books. Okay. Yes. How do you help your parents? Do you help them? Uh, yes so i help my parents uh, i help them in like teaching my sister i help my teacher uh, i help my sister in study which is usually my mother's task uh, but since i'm good at certain subjects i help her out then i pick up my sister from school and i buy groceries like milk bread and eggs how do you spend your weekdays So uh, recently, I've been spending my weekdays preparing for SSB only. Usually, in my free time, I would uh, read books, write no, uh, write poems, and listen to music. Okay. And what do you do on the weekends? So in weekends, also I prepare for SSB. I'm currently trying to take coding classes also. Uh, because I am interested in that also, and that one. Okay. How long have you been preparing for SSB, and what are the steps that you have taken? So I've been uh, I've been preparing for SSB by I have joined a coaching institute. So for SSB, I take guidance from there and try to improve myself upon that. like i try to read topics for lectures and group discussions then i try to do more word association and thematic uh, a perception test for psychology and just try to improve my general knowledge in general do you feel that project chita will be a successful endeavor yes i think it will be successful because india hasn't had tiger since seven uh, sorry leopard Sita since seven decades, and uh, it's it's good that uh, like eight Sitas have been introduced into our ecosystem. And since the conditions for uh, the Sita uh, the Sitas that they had in Namibia and here are kind of similar, I think that will be successful enough. Okay, uh, imagine a scenario that you are posted in a hostile place, and you're there for. 
a long duration and there's no you cut off from your family and friends there's no medium of communication whatsoever how will you manage yourself there so i will just do my job that i have there and connect with my teammates that will also be posted there how will you cope with male cadets they physically strong more agile so if male cadets are physically strong i'll try to be more mentally strong and i'll give logical uh, logical explanations and proper commands for uh, whatever i have to get done 